Today, I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up AutoGPT. Here we are at the AutoGPT repository. First, we want to clone the GitHub repository. So what we're going to do is copy this URL. Once we have this, we're going to open a new folder and right click on that folder and click open with code. What we're doing here is opening that folder in VS Code, which I'll be using for this tutorial. Now, we want to clone the GitHub repository. We can do this simply by typing git clone and then pasting in the URL. <laughs> Alternatively, I could have clicked this button here, clone GitHub repository, and paste in the URL. So now we see on the left-hand side, we have these folders. What we're going to do is open the AutoGPT platform folder, which is what we'll be setting up today. Now I'm going to open the readme. And here we have our instructions. So the first step is to clone the repository, which we've just done. Now we want to find this Superbase folder here, right click on it and do open an integrated terminal. Then we are simply going to run this command. Don't worry, this part takes a long time. And here we can see that the process is completed. On the left hand side here in the Explorer, we can see the Superbase files are here. Now that that's dealt with, what we want to do is navigate back to the AutoGPT platform folder. We can do this by typing cd dot dot, or we can just right click on the AutoGPT platform and open a new integrated terminal. And that's going to achieve the same thing. So we can see that we're in this folder in our terminal. And now we want to run the following command. So I'll paste that in, and that's complete. That'll happen instantly. And now for this next step, we need to have Docker installed and running. So what I'm going to do here is launch Docker Desktop. If you don't have Docker Desktop installed, please download it from their website. And here you see that Docker is running successfully. So once you're on this screen, you can just leave this and navigate back to your VS Code. And now we're going to run this Docker command. And what we're going to do here is wait for all of these. OK, and now that process is complete. Now what we want to do is get the front end up and running. So we're going to right click on front end and open an integrated terminal once again. And here we're going to copy this command and read it. And then finally, depending on what you have installed, we can either run yarn dev or I'm using node package manager. I'm going to run npm install. And now that that's complete, I'm going to run npm run dev. And once that's finished loading, we're going to go to our Chrome browser and navigate to localhost 3000 login. And what we're going to do here is just put in any username or any password and click sign up and you should see this page to show that you're logged in. That is the complete setup for running AutoGPT locally and self-hosting. Please let us know in the Discord server if you have any questions. We're always happy to help and if you have any feedback please click this little button down here and you can submit bugs, feature requests or just chat with us. Thanks so much.